Hey all, it's Mooch. Welcome to Mining Amaz episode 17. Today we're going to talk about rewrap batteries. A question I often get is, why do I still test them? And considering all the problems that we have, the cells can change without any notice, uh, preposterously exaggerated ratings on some of them, low-grade cells, inconsistent performance. Why even bother with them? Why not just test the OEM cells from Samsung, Sony, uh, Panasonic, Sanyo, and all the other big name manufacturers? Well, the OEM cells aren't without their own problems too. Uh, we can have fakes, we can have low-grade cells, certainly, old ones that are sitting around or badly stored ones, and also pre-production ones, which could be a lower performance, um, might have been diverted, were supposed to be uh, disposed of and they were diverted. That's not inherently bad, but it's not good and it's certainly not a reliable supply for anything we need. So the oh, just going OEM testing only doesn't get rid of our problems. And there are some good reasons to still keep testing the rewrap batteries. And I should define what I mean by rewrap batteries to those who don't know. Uh, batteries made by Samsung, Sony, etc. the higher grades, they come with wraps on them, the plastic wraps that cover them, different colors and a little bit of printing on it. What these battery rewrapping companies do is take off that original wrap often wash off with a mild acid wash the printing that's on the battery that might have helped identify it and then rewrap the battery in their own like EFAST or MXJO or AWT or any number of dozens of different company names. And those are called rewrap batteries or rewraps because well, they've been rewrapped. And some reasons that I still test them is in some countries, only rewrap, available, only rewrap batteries are available, particularly in Asia. All the OEM cells from Samsung, Sony, etc., are counterfeits, or there's so few of them, it's, it's hard to tell. They don't have any, the resources to test, etc. So for them, there's only a three or four different rewraps they can choose from. At least knowing what the ratings are for those, at least when I tested them, can help them at least choose the best of the worst options that they might have. Um, rewrap batteries, whether we like it or not, are bought in huge quantities by vapors. It's better to know the ratings than not at all. We can't just say, oh, well, don't buy rewraps. They're gonna be bought. They have huge numbers. Some of them have great looking wraps on them. And vapors, a lot of them, particularly new vapors, and the huge numbers of vapors who don't have a, uh, don't participate online with what's going on, aren't part of the uh, Facebook groups and Instagram, et cetera, they have no idea there's any issue with the ratings. Now, for that, you might go, well, then why test them at all if they're not going to see the results? Eventually they will. And the shops can see them and the shops can help educate these new vapors too. So I think there's a case we made for testing the rewraps. Um, newer cells, uh, particularly uh, last year, it was like some of the VTCs, the 5A, the VTC 6A, VTC 4A, uh, Samsung 30T and 40T in 2018. The newer cells are often only available as rewraps often for quite a few months before we can get them in the original OEM wraps. So there's a reason to also uh, test the rewrap version because we can at least get a hold of a few of those as they get batches in and use them. Now, <laughs> there's just no great solutions here. And yeah, it sucks. <sighs> we can do what we can for now. The, the testing of rewrap cells has all kinds of holes in it because the cells can change and all kinds of other things. But the OEMs cells can have problems too. So we're stuck. At least we've got some data by testing rewraps where we can figure out something at a certain point in time as opposed to knowing absolutely nothing. And it can help educate the community as to which of the worst offenders uh, for, for exaggerated ratings and things like that. So if we do buy a rewrap, we can stay away from certain companies more than perhaps other companies. What can we do? Do we have any options? Well, more accountability for the companies, more education and sharing of information, accountability, hold them accountable, respond when we find out that they change what's under the wrap or when they exaggerate the ratings. It's, it's great if you comment on my posts and say, oh, damn it, da, da, da. well, that's fine. But they may never see that. If you go to the company that did that rewrapping, that exaggerated rating or swapped cells or something that we don't like and tell them calmly and respectfully, I don't like what you did. I'm never buying your batteries again or whatever your decision is. 
that hurts them in the wallet. Now they're going to listen. But if you're just ranting, you know, and, and venting on one of my posts, they're not going to care because it doesn't hurt them. It doesn't affect them at all. Let them know. Respond more. As a community, we have a lot of power. We can also, something with the new ratings tables that I covered in a previous video, show us the paperwork. Okay, you're rewrapping, particularly with the China cells, at least show that they've been having some safety testing. Uh, back up your claimed ratings with a data sheet. If they commit to a data sheet, odds are they're going to keep that battery, that cell, the particular cell they rewrapped or wrapped if it's a China cell, because the China cells never had a wrap, probably. It shows at least some kind of commitment. It's something we can do. A couple of the rewrapping companies do they say they want to work with us. It's not completely hopeless. They say they want to get better at what they're doing. They want to do the right thing. Yeah, we'll see. Their actions over the next few months, that's going to show us what's going on because it's very easy to start doing it and then they get a great deal on some, you know, grade C, grade F cells or you know, China factory comes to them and says, oh, we can give you raw cells for half the price you're paying for those Samsungs. And all of a sudden that company <laughs> down the tubes in terms of their uh, promises to us and what they want to do. So seeing what these companies do over time, that's going to be important. But I support them if they do it and they continue to do it. And I'm going to be the optimist about this and hope a couple of them step up to the plate on this. We have power as a community we can change the way they do business. But we have to let them know we don't like the way they're doing business now. So tell them, email them, contact them on Facebook, Instagram, wherever you find the representative, their salespeople, let them know. I don't like that. I'm not buying your batteries or, or whatever your decision is. You can just say, I don't like this. And that's the only way we're gonna have any kind of power. That's the only way there's gonna be any incentive for them to change their business practices to make it easier for us to not be in this situation up here. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.